in a village comes with a privilege to play around your neighborhood freely. It may be peaceful and harmony with kids playing in front of their house. But is the environment were sustainable enough? So let's take a look around my neighborhood to see what's the main problem here. Let's go! As we can see, there is a pond here that used to be a fishing pond. But it has been a while since anyone actually fishing here. There should be fences that surround the pond, but the fences falls down as there is plant that grows on the fences. So let's take a look a little closer. There is different species of plant that grows around the pond. As this pond was created for fishing purposes, the fishes are actually live here till now. But what happened to the fish? What happens around here? Why there is trash in the pond? Are these surroundings safe for the fish? And how they get feed? This is supposed to be around the pond. A gate with fences to ensure the safety surrounding the pond. As you can see, there is baby fishes that swims around. The pond are actually polluted with unnecessary things such as coconut leaf that falls down into the pond. This unmaintained pond resulting the water inside become cloudy. The pond environment should be free from any plants to ensure that no leaves or twigs falls into the pond. Because this pond is not tidied up, creeping plants have grown on the fences of the pond causing bushes around the pond. <coughs> if those maintenance are neglected, it will become as this pond. The surrounding soil become muddy and bushes grows there. The stagnant place can be a source of mosquito breeding. Diseases such as Aedes can easily spread if these places are neglected. There is also a few trash that end up there. So the fish inside the pond end up died because their surrounding was polluted and other animals that habit the place such as that duck lost their home to play and leisure. This is how unsustainable this pond will become if this issue was neglected. Animals underwater will be affected as they lost their home to breed and live. A fish pond should have a motor engine that can keep the water flowing and clean from dirt. Surrounding of the pool should be covered and free from bushes and plants to ensure that the fish can be monitored easily and not abandoned like in the pool. The population of species can also be controlled with this clean environment as we can see the fish clearer. The adult and baby fishes should be in different ponds to make sure the bigger fish did not eat a smaller fish.
To ensure the pond is sustainable, we must always maintain the pond. First, the pond must have fences around them, so there is no intruders that can come inside and out as they wish. This will prevent outsiders to throw trash and play with the fish. This way, the environment of the fish pond was not disturbed. A net is also optional to ensure that there is no leaf falls down into the pond. The pond must always clear out from leaf and bushes to ensure that there is no dangerous animal such as snake inside the ecosystem. Next, the fish food needs to be taken care of so the fish are happy. In fact, fish are very sensitive animals. So, the fish should be fed in a reasonable time and amount. This will ensure that the fish do not starve or overeat. So that's what's happening around my neighborhood. The after effect when the pond is not in use were neglected and the fish are suffering. If the same happen to others pond, the same thing will be repeated. That is why maintenance for this pond is important to ensure the sustainability of the environment and our ecosystem is kept in check for our future generation. So, with the solution that I provide, I hope in future people will thinking forward before they do something that can have after effect like this. The usage of land need to think carefully to ensure the sustainability of our environment. Future generation deserve to have this peaceful feeling and experience the clean air and nice breeze. But if this neglected for matter will take a lightly into consideration for a solution, this future generation may not able to feel this experience. This environment we were right now will become dark. So let's preserve our environment using a sustainable development matter. Two, ensure the future generation will experience the same things. That's all from me. Thank you.